So what they're doing is they're covering this iconic sign that they fought so hard to make sure that sign is there. Little do they know, they don't want, in a recession, they don't want any of those houses built on the top of the peak. They want to keep that pristine like it's always been intended. It's, a, it's an icon of Hollywood. Uh huh. Can I show you an old picture? I think this is from like 1923 or 1920, 1926. Put this up. I, I love this picture. Um, this is a picture of the Hollywood sign. Oh, wait a minute. It says Hollywood Land. Why did it say Hollywood Land? Because that was originally a giant billboard advertising homes to be built on the peak. Oh, the irony. Andrew Breitbart is here. He's the uh, publisher of BigHollywood.com and BigGovernment.com. How are you, sir? Very well. Yeah. How do you do it? How do you live here? Well, I, I grew up watching this movie called Blade Runner, and <laughs> I now live in that uh, dystopia. Yeah. And so welcome. Welcome to a place that is, is what America could be in 20 years if we follow uh, the, the prescriptions that the progressive left uh, want America they, to follow. Do, uh, is there any, is there at any time... Do they get it at all? I was, I was driving from the airport, and the driver was talking to me, and uh, we were driving through Hollywood. And I said, this, this place is upside down. And he said, yeah, you know what? You used to do a lot of movie shooting here, but they don't do movie shooting any here anymore. They're starting to report on this. In fact, it takes the New York Times of all places to report on what's going on out here in Hollywood because the Los Angeles Times gets so much money from the film industry on these full page spreads in the calendar section. So if you're looking for news on California going to hell in a handbasket and Hollywood going to hell in a handbasket, you're not going to get it in the local papers. You have to get it in the New York Times or, or <laughs> anywhere else. And, and for years and years and years, your neighbors would say, I, I'm, I'm going to be out of town for the next three months. I'm going up to Vancouver to shoot a film, or I'm going to go three months down to uh, New Zealand to film. And it became this exotic thing, like, wow, I have these great neighbors who travel around the world. <laughs> and you, it, it took a while for even somebody like me who pays attention to these cultural things to go, there's something wrong in Hollywood right now. The business is not working. The business model doesn't work anymore. Now, here's the, here's the great part. The reason why it doesn't work well, the economics uh, don't work. Uh, the, the, ta the tax incentives, uh, the tax structure is so bad here. And, and this is one of those rare things where we're not going to blame the SEIU for meddling into things. This is not simply a, a, a union thing. The union people in this town happen to the rank and file, the sure. Teamsters, are great guys. They're, they're conservative. For the most what? part, conservative. They're, they're, yeah, they, they they aren't the typical Hollywood lefties. Yeah, yeah, they're the they're the people that come up to you uh, and say, "Hey, I'm with you." Not these fancy people, right. but the fancy people, the Steven Spielbergs of the world and the David Geffens of the world, who would sell the United States out right now, sold California out 20, 30 years ago, and started saying, "We're going to make millions and millions and millions of dollars if we make these films in New Zealand because it, we can't afford to do it here." So they sold they sold the state out. Okay. Okay, back in just a second, more with Andrew Breitbart. Back with Andrew Breitbart, he's the publisher of BigHollywood.com, BigGovernment.com, uh, you have BigJournalism.com, any other big dot well, 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 the big, the big, big one is going to be big ed education, because if you think that corruption is rampant and intellectual co corruption is rampant in government and in Hollywood, you ain't seen nothing like, like in, in higher education, because this is the place where the kids really start turning on the parents. The second that they walk into the freshman orientation class, they say, that patriarchal order, that family that just gave you that, uh, you know, that it, money, I go, you're in, we're in charge of you now. Right. And if you don't acquiesce to that, you're not going to graduate from this institution. So that's, I think it's like a cult brainwashing session. And what I want to do is use the ACORN strategy and go university by university, classroom by classroom, and freshman orientation by freshman orientation and saying, no more. Get your grubby hands off of our kids. I think that's fantastic. You see the first break that we had with where all of them were talking about the, um, you know, we have Barack Obama on, on his website saying that, you know, the kids are saying, I've got to talk to my dummy parents. I've got to, I got to teach them. You have Al Gore. We had that from Al Gore saying, you know, your, your parents just don't understand things that you just do because you're young and they're trapped in yeah. old think. I mean, they've really done it. Woodrow Wilson, a progressive, um, said, and just one evil SOB. Um, 
this guy, he actually came out and said, the goal of a higher learning institution is to make a boy as, as much unlike his father as possible. I mean, yeah. that was their intent. The progressives said it. Just undo everything dad's done. Well, the thing is that the media should have taken care of that and nipped that in the bud, but they're, they're in bed with these people. They graduated from the, those institutions with those progressive values. What is happening now is that the average American now can report on these things. They now, the new media affords people the ability to, to take a flip phone and say, you know, teacher, you're on candid camera, and they don't like that there's a checks and balances going on right now out there in all these progressive systems. You know, I have to tell you, America, because he doesn't have a television show, um, and probably a lot of people, I mean, if you watch Fox News, you know. But if, because he doesn't have a television show, most people don't know. He's one of the guys really responsible for breaking a lot of the stories, the Acorn story and everything else. You, were, you are instrumental in um, changing America. I think the history books will, I mean, assuming that our side wins, right. the history book will reflect your... A service to well, the country. Well, thank you, but I think it's not just me and it's not just you. Yeah. It, the Tea Party thing, it, this is a holistic, I hate to use lefty kind of uh, drum circle California. type of language, yeah. uh, but th that people are starting to feel it. There are people out here in Hollywood that are as conservative or as patriotic as you could possibly imagine yeah. that is the same thing as the, the Tea Party movement, the same thing that we're doing when we're finally now uh, standing up. Back in a minute. Thanks, Andrew. Thank, thank you very much. Good enough.